Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, good day to you, depending where you are in the world. It is the Sabbath, it's a Friday evening. Um, Sabbath starts at sunset on Friday and ends sunset on Saturday, full 24 hours. We're reading from the devotional Lift Him Up. The title today is Living in the Great Day of Atonement. The scripture reading comes from Leviticus 23 verse 27. On the 10th day of this seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be an holy convocation unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. We are now living in the great day of atonement. In the typical service, while the high priest was making the atonement for Israel, all were required to afflict their souls by repentance of sin and humiliation before the Lord, lest they be cut off from among the people. In the like manner, all who would have their names retained in the book of life should now, in the few remaining days of their probation, afflict their souls before God by sorrow for sin and true repentance. There must be deep, faithful searching of heart. The light, frivolous spirit indulged by so many professed Christians must be put away. There is earnest warfare before all who would subdue the evil tendencies that strive for the mastery. The work of preparation is an individual work. We're not saved in groups. The purity and devotion of one will not offset the want of these qualities in another. Though all nations are to pass in judgment before God, yet he will examine the case of each individual with as close and searching scrutiny as if there were not another being upon the earth. Everyone must be tested and found without spot or wrinkle or anything. Solemn are the scenes connected with the closing work of the atonement. Momentous are the interests involved therein. The judgment is now passing in the sanctuary above. For, the, for many years, this work has been in progress. Soon, none know how soon. It will pass to the cases of the living. In the awful presence of God, our lives are to come up in review. At this time, above all others, it behooves our every soul to heed the Saviour's admonition. Watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. Mark 13, 33. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Revelation 3.3 3. When the work of the investigative judgment closes, the destiny of all will have been decided for life or death. Probation is ended a short time before the appearing of the Lord in the clouds of heaven. Christ in the Revelation, looking forward to that time, declares, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly. And my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Revelation 22, 11 and 12. In the typical service, the high priest, having made the atonement for Israel, came forth and blessed the congregation. 
so Christ at the close of his work as mediator will appear without sin unto salvation. Hebrews 9.28 To bless his waiting people with eternal life. The Great Day of Atonement. Going back to Old Testament, the Day of Atonement was when the high priest would go into the most holy place, sprinkling the blood on the mercy seat and praying for the forgiveness of all the sins of Israel. Now these were the sins that had built up throughout the year. And the high priest would have to be sinless. Well, three or four would have had to repent of all his sins before he can do that. And this is what is happening at these in the sanctuary up in heaven. Because the sanctuary Moses built was a type or a copy of the sanctuary in heaven and so in heaven we have our high priest in Christ so on earth we had to have a man acting as the high priest and the first one I do believe was Aaron and the investigative judgment is when the books are opened and every name written in the books is judged be it good be it bad and as is said to those who are filthy let them be filthy still meaning if you are seen to be filthy you will stay filthy because you haven't asked for forgiveness or repented of your sins before that time. Those who are righteous, they will be righteous still. And they will be sealed. Now, of course, this does require keeping the commandments and having the testimony of Jesus. It goes a whole, whole lot deeper than that. But that's a good, gives a good understanding. Unless you feel otherwise. Let me know. <laughs>